Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and we are back here on Ark Survival Evolved. Um, I am spawned straight in. Press I and open my inventory, and I'll show you. Um, brand new character on a single player world. Uh, I did have to kill my other character off in order to start this one though. <laughs> but it'll be alright. It'll be alright. So this is your start stats here. As you can see, my food's been down a little bit since I've been here a couple minutes fiddling with the uh, the old uh, graphics, which are still messing up for a second. But this is it. Uh, these are your items. You start out with a skin for your saddle, for a parasaur, and a hunter's hat skin. And they're down a nice glasses skin. And you have two craftables straight off the bat, a pick and a torch. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to craft at least the pick right here. So. So I'm going to try this to see if the graphics are a little bit better like this. And then we'll, all, we'll keep changing it up each episode and we'll see what, see what it's like. So, first thing you want to do is find a tree and just smack the tree with your fist. Just like if you do it in Minecraft. Now this will damage you a little bit. Because you can't just go around punching a tree with your fist. There we go. And your objective is to get a piece of wood. Because you need some thatch and a stone and a piece of wood. And it looks like it reset my settings, so I might have to redo my settings here. So we want 10 thatch. There we go. That should be the thatch. And now we need a stone and a piece of wood. So I gotta keep smacking these trees till it gives me a piece of wood. <laughs> it shouldn't take you too long. You should get one right off the bat, unless you're just really unlucky. And it looks like I am really unlucky. Uh, as you can see, it says I leveled up right here, so we could come in here to apply. Um, I am going to put it in fortitude. Now, what you put it into is completely up to you. Also, I'm going to get the stone axe and the spear. Oh, axe, learn, spear. All right. Now, we're hoping before dark time we get the campfire up uh, too, but we'll, we'll see how many levels we'll get. But now we have two more things to craft. We have the uh, axe here and the spear. Both that require flint. So, uh, I'm going to let my health regenerate just a little bit, and then we're going to keep beating on these trees till we get a piece of wood. looking good. Hey, you want to be careful? There we go. Okay. Now we need a piece of stone. So to get a piece of stone, you just need to find a rock laying on the ground somewhere and press E to pick it up. There we go. Then we can go to craftables, craft a pick. There we go. And now we put this on our bar. Now, now it's on our bar down there. We press one to equip it, and then one to unequip it. We want to equip it because otherwise we'll be here all day killing ourselves. Now, each 
type of thing here gives you a different resource. So if you need wood or thatch, you'll be going for trees, which will give you wood or thatch. And if you need flint or stone, you want to walk up to these rocks. When you walk up to a rock, it'll tell you whether it is uh, harvestable or not by a little uh, shovel and pick icon, if you can see it on the left hand, right hand side of the screen there. Um, also, you don't have to keep clicking the left click button. You can just hold it down. There we go. Now I want a little bit more flint than that because I want multiple spears. So, there we go. Okay. So now we're going to craft the other harvesting tool. It says we need one more piece of wood. But we don't have to hit with our fist anymore. Because we have a pick. So uh, harvesting will be a little bit easier. Um, in general, you want to kind of stay away from the water unless you absolutely have to go to it to get some drink. Because there are some uh, there are some pretty nasty stuff in the water. Matter of fact, I saw a, uh, a shark that way. It's not called a shark. It's called something else. But it, it, it it's basically a shark. So uh, we're going to go ahead and craft us our... Now you should need more than one of each of these. You can repair it. See there's a durability bar here at the bottom here. Uh, you can wait for it to go break. Or you can just drag it back up into your inventory here. Click on it. And then hit repair. And then it will repair it. Now, as stated in the other video here, uh, you will gain passive experience also. So, uh, Also, we also want to make the uh, torch. We need some more wood for that. So we're going to equip our uh, hatchet here for a second. Just to get some wood. And now we have wood, so we can make a torch. Now it is raining, so that's going to mean that you're going to stay colder a little bit. Also, your temperature is here. And you can see right here, our hypothermia uh, uh, insulation is, is not that great. Now, we can use any one of these tools. We don't have to have a hatchet. We can use any one of these tools as a uh, form of a weapon. But uh, we really want these spears because you can also throw them if you need to. Now, this is a need fiber for the spears. So that's our next step. We are going to equip the uh, torch here. Now the torch will sometimes provide some heat for you. But only a little bit. Now uh, this right here is a bush. The bush where you'll find berries of all different kinds and oh what the heck well apparently right click with a torch uh, throws it down <laughs> there we go Put that back on get up close to this. Get rid of that. And we will press E to... Come on. You're going to make me get rid of this tree, aren't you? There we go. Just make sure you're facing it. You get fiber and whole different kinds of berries from these kind of things. Also, a uh, little trick when it's at night. Hit that gamma three and then it'll lighten it up a little bit. Just make sure you change it back. There we go. 
Now, something with the recent patch, it keeps resetting all your settings back to default. So, be mindful of that. Also, the recent patch, if you're just now playing and you're having trouble getting back on to the servers, definitely going to have to fix this before I play again. Um, there we go. That should do it. It'll give us a spear so we can use. Nope. Only 12 fiber. Jeez. Okay. Let's get the rest of these up here. So, as you're going along, you want to make sure that you're looking for a good place to set up camp. Because as you're gathering resources to build your basic tools, you're also going to want to um, level up. And uh, get your crafting engrams to craft more uh, building parts so you can build your base. Because you definitely want to get to a point to where you have a base. And once you get a base going, you want to save up your engrams again to get a bed. Now there's two different kinds of beds. I'll show you them right now. There's a regular bed, and then there's a sleeping bag. Um, the sleeping bag is just one time use type thing, and then it goes away. And then the regular bed down here is a uh, is a reusable thing. I can't remember if it's on a timer or not, so you might want to look that one up. Also, you want to do these armor too, but uh. I think a base is, is most important right now. So, let's go back into our inventory here. And we can craft one spear. There we go. And then we put that in our bar. And as you can see, we're getting kind of hungry here. Really, really low hungry. Um, you can eat all these berries except for you don't want to eat these two. Narco berries, which if you scroll over it tells you exactly what it does. Uh, this one makes you go, if you eat enough of them you'll, you'll pass out. And the stem berries will keep you awake but it makes you a little bit more thirsty. Um, we're going to put some of these in our bar. You can uh, click use here. Uh, berries will fill up like a one, around one point, a little bit more. Uh, of food and a little bit of your water also so I'm going to show you another way to use these since we get our food up a little bit more there we go now do not eat these two save those as much as possible also Thatch really doesn't weigh that much in your inventory. I see a bunch of people dropping thatch. They get like a stack of 100 in their inventory and they'll try to drop it. Just, the thatch doesn't really want to race that much uh, actual weight. Uh, the things you don't want to keep in your, a large amount in your inventories at all times is these two items right here. Wood and stone are usually what's causing your weight issues on you. Uh, you got to keep tools on you, so you know, that's that. Also, if you've assigned it to an item bar down here, you can just press the number to uh, eat that item. There we go. Now, as you're walking around gathering resources, you want to uh, find a nice little spot for you to uh, start your little uh, camping area. Now, you want to be a, you want to stay away from the woods. And you also want to uh, stay near enough to the water where you can get back to it but not so far away to where you're actually going to uh, die before you get there to refill your water okay and don't forget you can uh, eat berries to replenish your water so and uh, apparently I'm digesting really, really good tonight. <laughs> I 
So, uh, this spot here looks pretty good. It's not too close to the woods over there. And uh, I've got some rocks around me. that block line of sight so I don't have to worry too much about something spotting me and coming after me so I think we're gonna probably build our base right over here I think will be pretty good I do need a little bit more food though so uh, we're gonna try to harvest some more of these bushes right now and we're also trying to level up, so the more the more we gather, the more we'll uh, get experience points. You get experience points for basically everything you do in the game, and you get you get a passive amount of experience points for uh, just being alive. <laughs> Is the only way I know to explain it. Okay, so. That should just about fill up our bars here. Let me these berries. Now, I do not think you can eat these. Oh, you can't eat them. It says you can eat them for a small amount of nourishment. Uh, only in emergencies. You can keep them, you can, you can use them for farming. Stuff like that. We want to go ahead and gather some stone. Now, for trees, when you use your axe, you'll get wood. And when you use your pick, you'll get thatch. Now, you, sometimes you'll get wood even with a pick, and sometimes you'll get axe. Uh, Wood, thatch even with your axe but you're more likely to get thatch with a pick hitting a tree and you're more likely to get wood using an axe on a tree uh, the same goes for stone now so also don't worry about those guys they're uh, chickens so they won't they won't attack you most of the time but we did level up make sure you do level up every time you level up guys we're going to go ahead and pop off some more fortitude there and um I think we got 10 points. So <sighs> building or close. I think we're going to go with the building. And walls. Foundation. I thought I hit it. Learn. And um, go ahead and do the doorway. That way we can get this going. There we go. Then we'll close this. And now, if we go to craftables, you'll see that it is in here. And we, c we have enough to craft it. So let's go ahead and do our foundation here. We will need a fire pretty soon but uh, all the coldness does is make your hunger go down faster and uh, we can get more berries if we need to and uh, thatch walls we can craft three of those so when you want to place a building you put it down in your bar here the item for the building and then you find the spot where you want it and you press six and it'll give you a little like diagram pattern whatever you want to call it and then you just left click to place it and then you just walk into it you don't have to jump up onto it you can just walk in it to step up on top of it and then uh, go back into your inventory and then you place the walls down also if you just leave the item in your inventory if you run out of the item that's in there you can actually recraft the item that's in there uh, so I don't have any more of this 
if I press the six button and I had the items in my inventory, I would be able to craft that again. I don't though, so uh, we won't do that. Uh, we do still need this for the front side of this, and as you can see, the only thing we're missing is wood. So let's grab this, and we'll go smack this tree right here real quick. Uh, the size of the tree doesn't really matter. It's uh, the settings you put on it that really matters. Oh, rocks. I was going to tell you about rocks when we leveled up. Um, if you want stones, you find these little piles on the ground like this. These little piles will give you more stone than they will flint no matter which tool you're using. Okay. So if I hit this with an axe, it'll give me more stone than anything. If I switch to my pick, it'll still have a chance of giving me flint, but it'll give me more stone than anything. So there's that. But we need a little bit more stone. So let's hit this a couple more times for stone. Also, guys, if you need stone, you can just find piles on the ground. Just walk around, pressing E, pretty much. That's the end of that. So I'm going to show you that little thing. So I'm going to put craft one of these. And uh, that's our front to our building here. Now you really do want a door to, but not too many things can actually fit through this house. And this will protect you from most things. Um, there are some uh, like griffin type little uh, creatures that fly around that could swoop down on you. A T-Rex could, you know, basically just come along and bite the inside of you. For, but the small little monsters that are around, or monsters, the small little dinosaurs and uh, creatures that are around that are want to eat you will uh, not be able to get in here for the most part. Uh, we are going to fix that up though, so we're going to make it to where it's a full house. Uh, if you do want to pick stuff up off the ground, you do have to have empty hands. Yeah, get some more of that. And uh, we just want one more level, basically. Uh, I think I want to actually get a little bit more food. It is daytime, so uh, we're not cold anymore. But we do want some more uh, berries for now. We're not quite ready to uh, attack stuff, really. And a little bit more fiber will help us get armor when we need it. Come on. Some of these little hit boxes for the uh, gathering uh, the bushes are a little bit wonky. Come on. We'll just try a different one. It'd be easier than trying to get that one. Also, you want to keep a eye out on your surroundings. Make sure you, nothing's trying to sneak up on you or anything. Um, don't worry about these bushes guys and ferns and stuff and trees they'll all grow back every two to three days or so they all grow back and if you're close enough to two or three bushes you can just keep pressing E right in the middle of them and it'll keep gathering from all the bushes you don't have to like actually look at each individual one there we go that should give us uh, this should give us a little bit of food Let's go ahead and gather some more resources. Now, this this is thatch stuff, so uh, I just want to gather a little bit more wood, and and then we'll just uh, switch to our pick and gather some more thatch because we'll need more some more thatch for the roof and also the door. A 
don't worry about taking all these these trees out. They will regrow. Um, there's a setting if you if you think you're not getting enough resources for your liking, you can't up it to where these actually give you uh, more. It takes more hits to destroy them, so you'll get more chances for wood. Also, upping your uh, melee damage will help you get your resources faster and uh, there'll be more of a chance of you getting more resources per hit. And I think that's quite enough of that. How much wood do we got? Uh, let's go ahead and craft two more spears. We should have enough for that now. You want to try to keep at least three spears on you. Because uh, these do have a chance to break. As you can see, it has a chance to break. And it has a chance to break whether you use it as a melee or a thrown weapon. So, uh, I do not know if the melee damage increase increases the chance that it will uh, not break. So I don't know. Also, there's a max stack level here. You can have up to 10 with you. So uh, be mindful of that. They do weigh a lot, so you probably don't want more than three at a time if you can help it. Um, something you might want to do if you want to is you might want to make um, that house over there a little bit taller. We don't have to right now. So I'll save that for the next episode, but you can make it too tall if you want to. You just make uh, four more walls and put them on top there. Uh, let's go ahead and gather some... What else do we need for that? Let's, um, it's wood and fibers. Let's go ahead and get some more wood, I guess. I thought I had a good amount, though. There we go. Just try to clear out all these trees, just to get to our next level. Okay. Besides, we'll need some when we get the campfire going anyway. Closer. There we go. I don't know why it didn't break. <laughs> it didn't give me no wood. It doesn't always give you wood every time you swing. Sometimes it won't. And uh It kinda does remind me of playing Minecraft in a way, because uh <laughs> There's the initial beginning where you have to do resource. Okay, so now I was hoping this would happen on camera. This primitive pick, primitive axe broke. Now we can open our menu in here, and we can move this up like we did last time, and then fix it in here. So just click on it and then click repair. But it's in our bar, so we can just hit two, and it automatically repair. It. When you repair something, it uses. Uh, uh, it's like half. It uses less materials. I'll put it that way. I don't know if it's exactly half. It's less materials. And once you repair it, you have to actually equip it again. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat some more berries. And I think we're going to switch to our pick here and uh, try to gather a little bit more stone in preparation. Now, see, whatever it is, there's our level is one. So, um, I do like to go up to my fortitude of six, straight off the bat. It gives us a little more leeway there. Um, we got nine points. We want to go ahead and get our campfire, and we want the door. And I'm gonna go for the chest. So you definitely want all your armor pieces. 
Uh, some of your armor pieces do require leather, so you will have to kill some stuff. But at, at the start of the bat, uh, chest and pants will give you a pretty good amount. So, we can go to our little thing here. And uh, we can craft a door. For our house. Now, um, let me go back in here for a second. Instead of the chest, you could have chose the roof, which is also three points. But uh, that's not a necessity at the start. We could just craft more walls and put them out. I'd rather have a little bit more protection from the cold nights myself. And as you can see, you need more fiber for that. You need 40 fiber, so I won't, I won't probably get that on this, this episode. But uh, you will need 40 fiber for the chest. So we got the door. And how many more walls can we make? Not enough. Let's gather more resources. I'm going to put this door on, and then we'll call it an episode, guys. If you like this episode, make sure you uh, smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. I want to get inside. I was going to place it outside, but get it inside. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you one notifications when we have new videos out. You can come check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, tell them that you liked it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Copy the link. Post it on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. I'm going to keep playing with these graphics guys and see if I can get it to uh, on my liking. I don't want. I want everything to look good like this, but I don't want it to be lagging all the time. So I'll play around with them. See what I see if I can get them to where I, the graphics are where I'm where I like them and. Um, also, we can uh, see what we're doing. Oh, we want to do the campfire. Hold on, guys. Let me get that before we quit the episode. Campfire's right here. You do get a lot of experience for the uh, whole campfire here. Here we go. Now, if you see this right here, watch this. Every second or so, you'll get like a little experience on the bar here. There you go. Now we can scoot this in, in the corner there. You press E to access the inventory. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to split this wood so I'm gonna drag and hold the shift button and that splits it and then I want to put that wood in here and then at night we just hit E to light this and uh, or whenever we get cold it doesn't have to be at night you just stand next to it or in the same room to, with it I think it's like two blocks two foundations around it that it'll warm so if any further away than that then it, it probably won't. We're not going to waste the wood right now. And guys, that covers your basics. So you're pretty much safe in here. You might want to make another wall. Let me show you that real quick before we go. You might want to make four more walls and put them on top here. And then all you have to worry about is uh, the larger dinosaurs and any kind of flying creatures. If, if they don't see you, they have to pretty much be strolling up on you. Or flying over. Uh, the flag dinosaurs is the only real problem. So you can just, just put it right on top of there. And uh, by next episode, I'm going to build this up to uh, too high. And I'm going to put a roof on it there. And uh, next episode, we'll gather resources up and make this bigger. We'll show you how to make it bigger. And then we'll go hunt down a dinosaur or something. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys on the next episode.